Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use a free variation swatches plugin for WooCommerce website. And instead of using the default drop down box for variation selection, you can actually show the colors and images for the variation. Let me show you an example. This is a demo product page. And for this product, we have two different types of attributes, size and color. And for each attribute, we have three different variations. For the size, we have large, medium and small. And for the color, we have three different colors. In a default WooCommerce layout, you will get a drop down option to select colors or the sizes. However, using free variation swatches plugin, you can actually show the colors on the product page just like this. So if I select size and if I select color, you will see the change in the image. If I select another color, it will show another image. This is a radio button. So instead of drop down box, you can also use radio buttons or images or simple buttons. And for the colors, you can show the actual colors. Now this is for the single product page. You can also show the variation swatches on the shop page or the category page. Here I'm on the shop page and you can see one variable product is here. And on the shop page itself, I can show the variations. So the user don't need to go to the actual product page to see different colors. Here I have different colors. I can select the color and it will show the colors on the shop page itself. So I'm going to install a free plugin. The name of the plugin is Variation Swatches for WooCommerce. And you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 300,000 WordPress websites. This plugin has free as well as premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin. And I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version of this plugin. So let's see how we can install free variation swatches plugin for WooCommerce website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website I'm using a WooCommerce. Now let me show you the default layout of a variable product in a WooCommerce website. This is a variable product that I have created and here you will see this product has two different attributes size and color. For the size we have three different variations and for the color we have three different variations. This is a demo product that I have created. Now let me show you the attributes. If I go to products and under products, you will see attributes. You can create different attributes and under each attribute, you can create different variation. And using these variations, you can create a variable product. If you don't know how to create a variable product, I have already published a video tutorial on how to create a variable product. You can watch that video. I'll give you the link in the description box. Here you can see that I have three different attributes color size and size this is for the shoes size and this is the regular size for the regular size we have small xl and xxl and these are the colors under this color attribute now let me go to one of the attributes here configure terms and you will see different terms are there black blue green so these are the variations that i have created under the color attributes so these are the default settings for the attributes and the variations and now if i go to the product you will see that this is a variable product and we have different variations for this product large black large red large yellow and for each variation i have already selected image so if I go to black, you will see a black here. If I go to yellow, you will see yellow color image for this particular variation. So you need to work on the variations. You need to add proper images for all these variations. Now we are going to add a free variable swatches plugin so that we don't need to use this default layout of the drop down. So instead of selecting variation from the drop down, we are going to show the actual colors on the product page. All right. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. First, we are going to install a free plugin here. Search for variation swatches for WooCommerce. So this is the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. And you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 300,000 WordPress websites. So click on install now. And click on activate. 
So the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see get Woo plugins. Click on it. And it will go to the default settings of this plugin. You will see enable style sheet, enable tooltip, shape style, rounded or square. If you want square, you can select square. Otherwise, you can select rounded. Then we have drop down to buttons. If you enable this option, it is going to convert all the drop downs into buttons. For example, we have a drop down here for the size. So it is going to convert that drop down into buttons and drop down to image. This is only for the pro version. Let's go to advanced. Under advanced settings, clear on a reselect. If they reselect, then it is going to clear the selected attribute. Then disable out of stock. This is for the pro version. Clickable out of stock is also for the pro version. Disable attribute style blur with cross, blur without cross or hide. So if one of the variation is out of stock or not available, then it is going to blur that variation with a cross. So this is what we have selected here. Attribute image size is 50 by 50. Go to styling. And tick color will be white. Cross color will be red. And these are the width. Go to product page. So these are the settings for the product page. How do you want to show the variations on the product page? Show selected attribute variation name beside the title. This one is selected variation label separator is this one and enable preloader. All these other settings are only for the pro version. Let's go to archive or the shop page settings. So all these settings are available only for the pro version. I'm going to install the pro version and I'll show you what is the difference or what are the features in the pro version. All right, so these are the basic settings for this plugin. Now go to products again and go to attributes. Now let's go to color and we are going to assign colors for this particular attribute. So let's go to edit. And here now you will see a new option there type. What will be the type of this attribute? And you will see a drop down option. If you want to show colors, you can select color. If you want to show images, you can add images. If you want to show buttons, you can show the button and the radio option. So for the color attributes, I'm going to select color. So I'm going to click on update. Let's go back to attributes. And for the configure terms, we are now going to assign colors for all these variations. So you will see black. Let's go to black edit. And for this black variation, we are going to add the color. So from here, you can select the color black back to color attributes let's select blue edit and for this blue color we are going to add a color so this is the blue color you can select your blue color from here update it back to color attributes so one by one you can assign color to all these variations All right, so I have added colors to all these variations. Let's go back to attributes again. And now let's go to the size. And for this one, I want to select a radio buttons. Okay, so instead of a drop down, I'm going to show the radio buttons for the size selection. Click update. Now here you don't need to go to all the terms and you don't need to assign a radio button for all these terms. It will assign them automatically. If you want to add images or colors, then you need to go to configure terms and add images or colors for each variations. All right. So we have added colors and the radio button for these attributes. Now let's go back to the product page and let's refresh it. Now you will see these attributes are changed now we do not have a drop down option here now i can select color or the size from these new variation swatches so if i want to select large red you will see the image is also changed if i select yellow it will show a yellow color image black color if i go to small it will show small red so we have used the color swatches instead of a drop down box now, if I go to shop page here and I want to show the colors on the shop page also on the catalog page also. So I can do that using a pro plugin. So I'm going to install a pro version of this plugin and I'll show you how you can 
add the swatches or the colors on the shop page also. All right, so let's go back to plugins and click on add new plugin. Let me show you the website of this plugin first. This is the website. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to see all the features of this plugin, you can use my link. If you want to buy the pro version of the plugin, you can use my link. If there is any discount coupon code, I'll mention that in the description box. So the pricing of this plugin is $49 per year for a single domain. And if you want to use it for five domains, then it will cost you $149. And if you want it for unlimited websites, then it will cost you $299. So on this website, you will see all the features of the pro version. All right, let's go back and upload the plugin. I have it downloaded, so I'm going to install this plugin now. Let's go to the settings again. And now let's go to product page. Now you can see that this option is available. Generate variation URL, variation stock info will also be shown there. How many products are in stock? Attribute display limit. Let's save the changes here. Group swatches align will be horizontal. So it is going to align horizontally. Let's go to archive or the shop page settings. And all these options are available now because we are using pro version. Now I've enabled swatches on the shop page or the archive page. So if you have variations, it is going to show that variation on the shop page also. For this product, let's say this is a variable product, then it will show the colors on the shop page also. You will see the product here. I'm not going to refresh it now. Let's see the other settings here. Enable preloader is available. Disable tooltip. If you want to disable the tooltip, you can disable it. Show attribute label. Show the attribute label on the archive page swatches i'm going to enable this one show selected attribute label on archive page swatches i'm going to enable that one also what other options are available show product availability that is also available show default selected use variation swatches block to display the swatches on archive or the block theme so i'm going to keep it as it is for now show clear link if you want to show the clear link you can show the clear link so let's save the changes and let's see how does this look on the shop page. Now let's go back to the shop page and let's refresh it. We have this variable product here and you will see variations here. So on the shop page itself, it is going to show you the variations. If I select the size and the color, you will see the change in the color here. So on the shop page itself, it is going to show all the variations. It is changing the color here. Now here, in this case, we have different variation for this product. So you will see different sizes here. It does not have the color option. So it is going to show only the sizes. And I have the same image for each size. So it is not going to change it. However, if you have multiple images for each size or each color, then it will show changes here. For example, we have this bag here. And for this bag, we have only one variation that is color. If I click on it, it will show the other color say this is the black color then we have a red or the brown color so it is going to show the variations on the shop page itself if you are using pro version if you do not want to show this on the shop page you can simply disable it from here currently it is set to left align let's make it center align save the changes let's go back and refresh it now it is center aligned all right, you will see it, it is now center aligned. So there are many different features in pro version of this plugin. You can go through documentation and you can customize your website or the variation swatches using the pro version of this plugin. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.